Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, I'm going to be comparing the all new Honda Accord Turbo to the Honda Accord Hybrid. Before we get in this video, though, a huge shout out and link to the Stockton 12 Honda here in Utah for giving me some time with both of the Accords. I'm going to include a link to their inventory in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. If you have any questions or need any help, just ask for John. And then, on a side note, if you want to save time and money, the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood of the Turbo Accord is a 1.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder that goes through a CVT automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 29 around town and then 37 on the highway with power outputs being 192 horsepower and then 192 pound feet of torque. Now under the hood of the hybrid, we have a Nachi aspirated two liter four cylinder paired to a CVT and a hybrid system. Fuel economy is 46 around town and then 41 on the highway with power outputs being 204 horsepower and then 247 pound feet of torque. Now, before we dive deeper into the video, I do want to mention, if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. Now, I just want to quickly mention some exterior differences between both of these Accords. Um, the non-hybrid on the right side is an EX, whereas the hybrid is the sport package. So notice with the EX how, I mean, it looks really good. Don't get me wrong with the blue and everything, but like, it just doesn't look quite as cool as the Sport. I feel like everything kind of pops out a little bit more with the Sport, but it could also be the silver paint. But I do think having this painted black at the bottom versus just having the exposed plastic here looks a little bit better. And then same thing with the wheels. Like, look at the wheels on this hybrid compared to on the EX. And then notice, like, body painted mirror cap versus blacked out mirror cap. And then look at the window trim blacked out versus chrome here on this Accord. And then the other big difference is actually with the rear end. So notice that it's, you know, pretty clean looking rear end, but with the Sport, we got a little spoiler there on the back. And then also the bottom portion here is blacked out, which I think looks pretty sweet. And something that I'm actually curious to see is if you lose any sort of storage space with the hybrid. So we'll lift up the loading floor there. Yeah, easy to close though. Compare that to the non-hybrid. It looks identical. I mean, yeah, just popping in. Yeah, so it doesn't look like you lose storage. And then popping inside, I just want to quickly glance here at the interior. Oh yeah, the Sport definitely has a much more premium feeling interior than the EX. I guess this is more of like a comparison between uh, EX and Sport than it is hybrid to non-hybrid. Now I'm inside the hybrid to show the last difference that I noticed between the car's actual difference with hybrid versus non-hybrid. So you guys can see with the gauge cluster, notice that it shows you like the hybrid information. We're in EV mode right now. And I can press a button to pop us into EV mode. And then there's auto mode as well to just let it do uh, what you, or what it thinks is best. And then we have a bunch of different drive modes. We have an individual sport, normal, and then econ that we can go into with the hybrid. If you're wondering, here's what the drive mode select looks like, and then here's what that button looks like to pop it into the EV mode. Oh, also worth noting, since this one is a more upgraded package on the Accord, this one has like the nicer infotainment system that definitely looks a lot fancier, and you can also see the power flow with the hybrid system. Now quickly in the non-hybrid, you guys can see the gauge cluster difference, how it shows us the RPMs, and then we just have one drive mode, uh, which is the Econ mode and then quickly you guys can see the difference with the infotainment system this one just isn't as uh cool looking i suppose and then here's a quick look at what that drive mode select area looks like now quickly going over pricing the turbo accord stickers for just under thirty one thousand dollars and the hybrid accord stickers for just under thirty five thousand dollars now again that is a sport package that's an ex package so it's not a perfect comparison but even with that having far less options because it's a lower down trim there isn't as big of a price difference as you would think let's drive them well let's talk about visibility before we set off here's the visibility of the hood both mirrors do have line spot monitoring and through the rest of the rear and a quarter away I don't know i don't know why i said that but we'll just go with it so today is going to be a great day for hondas because i just drove a manual sport touring civic hatchback now we're driving the new accord and then after this <laughs> we're going to go review the hybrid version of the new accord um, i will be putting together a comparison video so if you're not subscribed that's another reason to subscribe so that you can see that comparison video as soon as it's posted because i don't know if anyone's posted a comparison with the um 
hybrid versus the non-hybrid Accord yet. But uh, regardless, initially setting off seat covers actually really good with this Accord. Don't worry, you got plenty of space with your uh, CRV. Um, but yeah, seat comfort's really good. And I will say around uh, the parking lot, this turbocharged engine feels pretty, pretty zippy. Like it's getting up and moving at a pretty solid pace. <laughs> this person's just, I'll be back to you guys in a second. Okay, we're actually getting up and moving on the road now with the Accord. Now again, I'm driving this back to back with the Civic. So I'll be able to tell you if the ride quality is better, worse, the same. And I wanna go over a few more bumps, but it feels like this is more comfortable than the Civic, which I kind of expected because similar suspension setup, but longer wheelbase. And you know, longer wheelbase cars always absorb things a little bit better. You can definitely feel the weight difference between the cars. I love how this handles. Wow. This is the best handling. I mean, get a few more turns, but this feels like the best handling Accord ever. Like the steering feels really good on this. Did not expect that. That is a big surprise. Thank you for not having <laughs> those guys have a green light so I can go. Good torque, we'll pop into the S mode. I'm way more impressed with this than I expected. I thought this was gonna be like a hit piece, honestly. I thought this was gonna be a video of me talking about how Honda destroyed the Accord because they got rid of the 2.0 turbo with the 10 speed. But so far, very pleasantly surprised with the performance of this new Accord. I mean, this is this is great. Um, some other stuff, again, even though this is more of like a, it's not like a full on baseline package, but more of a baseline package, the interior in this feels pretty dang premium. Okay, let's get our full blown acceleration here. Not too shabby, not too shabby. I mean, it's not like a rocket ship, but I mean, it moves, it actually moves. So, yeah, let's sum things up with the 1.5 turbo version of the Accord. So when it comes to, uh, I guess, like exterior sign with the new Accord, I think it looks pretty good. Um, interior also, like, it has a lot of carryover from the Civic, so I think that, you know, job well done there. So solid all around. And then it drives really well. Like, the handling on this is phenomenal. Seriously, they improved it a lot. I'm super impressed with the handling. Uh, I'm impressed with the ride quality. It does, it does ride better than the Civic. This is the best handling, best riding Accord, but it's not the fastest. That's the only downside. Um, I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm, I'm not sure why Honda got rid of the 2.0 turbo. But again, I will say that like reviewing cars um, for Honda for the last few years, I didn't ever really see a lot of 2.0 turbos at the dealership. It seems like most people were buying like this variant of the Accord. So I guess that Honda is just going after volume, right? But let me know what you guys think about the 1.5 version of the Accord. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility over the hood. Both the mirrors, just do a blind spot monitoring. And then throughout the rest of the rear. And, well, let us set off in the Accord Hybrid. <laughs> and I'm driving this back to back with the 1.5. Um, I do need to mention this. I'm using uh, this footage for the Accord Hybrid review and then also for the comparison uh, review. I'm always on a pretty crazy schedule and so, I can't just like go and drive a car like three times for three different videos. <laughs> so we're doing one drive and we'll use it for uh, both videos. But anyways, uh, setting off here in the hybrid. First off, it's in the EV mode. And I just have it, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just leave it in auto because you know, I'll just let it do what it's going to do. But seat comfort's really good, actually. I'm, I'm impressed with that. And it's so quiet. Yeah, I like all I hear is a turn signal indicator, obviously. Which is pretty loud. It's a, it's a very chunky sound. It's cool that you can see it like on the little graphic right there with the Accord. I think that that is fun as well. But yeah, this interior overall like feels very premium. I think that Honda's done a good job with their new interiors. Oh, it's got like auto hold on. So it's just like, look, no foot on the brake. That's cool. So actually getting up and moving on the road. When it comes to ride quality, lots of blue cars, by the way. <laughs> Uh, it's it's pretty similar. Actually, it's, I, I'm not noticing a difference. So they ride the same. So you're not getting a better ride, better ride quality if you go for turbo or if you go for hybrid. So that's all the same. Yeah, and this system's very seamless. Like, I'm not hearing the engine at all. Seems like it's spending a lot of time charging, which is great. 
yeah, the suspension's super comfortable on this, and I love how smooth this is, though. Man, this is a lot better than the turbo. I hear, I hear a siren somewhere. I'm like looking at, oh, <laughs> highway patrol. That, so that person that was turning out, they just, uh, okay, that's what that was. What the heck? We'll leave that in the video too, because why not? Um, let's pop it into the sport mode, see what acceleration's like. It still goes into EV mode, even in sport mode. That's cool. So again, it always just prioritizes fuel economy. Okay, well, we are going to get up and get our acceleration here. Woo! <laughs> that is loud. When you're actually like on it, is that just because sport mode? Let's pop it into normal mode and see if it's that loud. Oh yeah, it's about it. It's a little bit quieter in normal mode. So sport mode, it seems like it does something to make it even louder. That acceleration's impressive. It doesn't feel as like punchy as I expect it to be given the power figures. Like it, it's definitely like slightly quicker than the turbo, but it's it's not as much as I think. But again, we are at higher elevation, so I think the higher elevation does play a part in that. With that being said, though, I love this new hybrid powertrain. I realized I was supposed to turn back there and I forgot to. Anyways, I, I really do love this hybrid powertrain though. Um, it's super smooth and it's got, it's got enough power. It's, it's very, very reasonable. And yeah, because, because of the hybrid assist, the electric part of it, it makes it so that like, don't get me wrong. The turbo version is good, but like you have to deal with the CVT all the time with this, you only have to deal with it sometimes. And it makes it so that like, I don't know, it just makes it much better driving experience. So I guess to quickly sum things up here with the turbo, or not the turbo, with the hybrid, super smooth, acceleration's great. Fuel economy is obviously fantastic for this size of sedan. So that's a big plus. And I'm a big fan. I think that this, this might be the powertrain to get on the new Accord. So I just got back from my drive with both of the Accords and here's what I'd have to say. As much as I love that turbocharged engine and the fact that, you know, you don't get as much power loss because we're at higher elevation, I'm gonna give the win to the hybrid. It has better fuel economy, more power, and I feel like it just fits the ethos of the new Accord a lot better because the new Accord is like super luxurious. The interior is very luxury. The ride quality is very luxury as well. And so a hybrid powertrain that's just, you know, smoother with, you know, your around town acceleration and just with the acceleration in general, I think that's just the route um, to go. And also the price difference, like there's not as big of a price difference as you might think. And so I think it's I think it's a no-brainer. That's just my opinion. Um, let me know which powertrain you guys prefer, but if I were to get a new Accord, I'm gonna go with the hybrid powertrain because like, I mean, seriously, the fuel economy difference, especially, I mean, 29 around town versus over 40 miles per gallon. I mean, that is absolutely enormous. So yeah, a huge shout out and thank you to the Stockton 1200 for giving me some time with both of the cars. Link to their inventory in the description down below. Ask for John if you have any questions. I'll see you.